What's good, everybody? Um, before I get into this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be listening to the Coward, uh, Colin Coward show. Uh, that's the only person I actually watch, to be honest with you. Um, so he's gonna be talking about, um, the NFL playoffs, and we're gonna chime in. To be honest with you, none of these playoff games have any build-ups. You know, it's it's al it's almost like it's it's predetermined. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look at the landscape outside of the Eagles and 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 uh, outside of the Eagles, Bucks, Texans, um, who the hell the Texans play? I wrote it down here somewhere. Where the hell the Texans play? Outside of the Texans, Browns, Bills, Steelers, Eagles, Bucks, you have three teams, KC, Dolphins, Lions, LA Rams, and Packers, and Cowboys that have similar, um, that, have familiar, uh, that have familiar with them, with each other. You know, it's kind of like the revenge game, you know. Uh, Matthew Stafford is going back to Detroit. Um, you know, who else? Uh, you know, can 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 the Cowboys win against the Packers who own them for years when they had Aaron Rodgers and, and, and Brett Favre? Um, you know, will will Tyreek Hill get his revenge against the, his former team? It's kind of like, you know, it's... It, it's a build up, but it is just too obvious. You know? It's just too it is just too obvious of a build up, you know? I think they build I think they're building these playoffs way too easy, to be honest with you. Cause this is I be, I believe this is Tua's first playoff game. I don't think the Dolphins was yeah, the Dolphins was not in the playoffs last year. Wow, they really have us picking Malik, some Malik guy from LSU. I mean, typical New York Giants to, to pick a wide receiver, right? Like, we don't even really need a wide receiver, you know? Wow, so this game is on Saturday. I don't know. I think Miami has a puncher's chance. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't think KC is this team that nobody can beat. I mean, they've been looking trash the last five games. To be honest with you, I mean, their receiving core is not good outside of Trel uh, outside of Kelsey. Their defense is 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 okay. You know, they're thin in the secondary. Two and nine in all other months, 
not call December and January. He is a different quarterback in cold weather. And then not just a little drop-off, a significant drop-off. And what's notable about that is Miami is warmer than the rest of the league in December and January. But the road games aren't. So I don't expect Miami to play particularly well. Um, those numbers to me are another reason. You start talking about two of Power, no. Size, no. Arm, no. Athleticism, no. December, January, no. You're not really built for it. So it's another reason I can like the kid and like him at the podium and think he has great intangibles, but I have real questions about is he built for mm. this? And now, he may go to Kansas City and play his butt off, but it is noticeable, December and January numbers. And I, I've said this Yo, I think Tyreek Hill is going to have a big game. If if you have any parlays, or if you, if you are going to use any parlays, pick Tyreek Hill over reception wise, because I think he's gonna have a big game. I think they're gonna air it out on his Chiefs secondary, because his Chiefs secondary is not good at all. I mean, I've seen him. I've 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 seen this. I've seen this secondary get torched. So if he could just bomb it. A couple of times. I'm not going to say a lot because, you know, in the playoffs, you know, they play, they play a, a lot slower than the regular season. A lot of things, you know, dumb down a little bit. And the thing is, will will the re, will the wide receivers from OKC show up? You know, because all this month they've been dropping balls and out of sync, and you'd expect, oh, just wait to the playoffs. They're gonna, you know, get it together. It's like it just doesn't work that way. And so everybody was like, hey, the late Kobe Bryant was upset. Uh, they were bad. And then Kobe got Pau Gasol. Shaq aged very quickly. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, the Lakers made the right move. The answer for moves and decisions, sometimes you've got to be patient. And I think Miami's playing it right. They have an offer to the contract. I want to see what he looks like Saturday. Now, if he goes out Saturday night and it's minus one, and he has got nothing but sizzle, gets into a shootout, Okay, that's going to be part of the decision. But it was like when you watch Justin Fields and, 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 and Jordan Love in that game, same field, one of them looked fantastic. And one of them looked like, oh, yeah, he's like 10 and 28. He doesn't see the field. Can't get, a, can't get first downs on third down. You can blame all you want. When you watch that game and you were reasonable, I would pay Jordan Love right now going forward. I couldn't pay, I couldn't pay Justin Fields. So the answer took a while to get there, but I think you got the right conclusion. Yeah, so just a little snip. Um, but yeah, um, these games are just so out of sync, you know. And I'm not saying I'm not going to poo-poo on everybody's parade. I'm pretty sure everybody's... I'm pretty sure... Every, Everybody's team who is in the playoffs is excited, whether you're a Cowboys fan, Eagles fan, Bucks fan, LA Rams fan, Lions fan, Texans fan, Steelers, Bills. I'm sure you pump, right? For the for the teams that's not in the playoffs. And you know, you go about your day. You know what I'm saying? Um for me, I'm not gonna watch any other playoffs. You know, I don't really care. Unless it's for, like, prop bets, you know, because I do have, um, I do have six guys that I need to hit, okay, and I have my parlays right here, if I can, um, if I could show them to you right here, okay, I have my parlays right here, so, oh, no, no that's not it, okay, so, for your parlays, for prize picks, you can only pick six people, right? Six players. It could be from, you can mix them up. It could be from the NBA. It could be from the NFL, you know. 
So right now, strictly, I'm just focusing on the NBA. I mean, the NFL. Okay. So I have six people, you know. So I have Dak throwing for more touchdowns. I have C.B. Lamb gaining more yards. Okay. Yak, yards against uh, yards against the catch. Okay. I have Tony Pollard rushing for more. I have Patrick Mahomes throwing for more touchdowns. I have Tony... I have Kadarius Tony catching for less, okay, and then I have Baker Mayfield rushing for less. Now, last time I picked Baker Mayfield to rush less, he rushed more in a in a regular season. So now, now that you know it's the playoffs, I don't think he's gonna run a lot. I think he's gonna use his arm more. Now, if the pockets break or collapse, then yeah, I could see him rushing, but you know, you don't want to take that risk. You know, you rather throw it more than rushing, you know. Or if you know that you're going to get rushed or you're going to get sacked, audible it out. I mean, audible it out to a running game or a running, a running um, play, you know. Because that's what the running back is there for, to neutralize the pass rush, right. I mean, yeah, he may lose some yards, but at least your quarterback don't get you know, not. Um, so yeah, so I got Dak Lamb, Tony Pollard, Patrick, uh, Tony, uh, Kadarius Tony, and uh, Baker Mayfield. Um, so yeah, but like I said before, man, um, these playoffs are kind of weird. You know, you, you, I don't know, man. I mean, it's just no build up. No build up. Um, you know, if you could say, you, you know, outside of how many, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, outside of seven matchups, only three of them are, I don't know, worth watching, I guess, because of the rivalry and the history. Like, you got McCarthy facing his old team. You got um, Matthew Stafford going going back to Detroit. Um, you got Tyree Kill going back to Arrowhead. Like it's it, it's all build up, kind of, you know. But there's no rivalry. There's there's no rivalry. It's just it's just build up, you know. Um. It's not like it. It's not like it was ten years ago, you know, where you have rivalries. You know, like the NFL doesn't have rivalries no more. They just have buildups. Like nobody, nobody in the NFC conference is on Patrick Mahomes' level, right? Like he's far beyond himself. He's in a realm by himself. You know, but any but everybody in the NFC is just you know stack on stack on stack on stack on stack on stack on stack. Like there's nobody in the AFC that can actually dethrone Patrick Mahomes or try to dethrone Patrick Mahomes, because yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs haven't really been themselves. You know, uh, the receiving core is not good. Um, they thin at the secondary, so you can pass on them. You know. Uh, you just got to get the web. You just have to have the weapons to do so. And I think Miami going to that cold weather. Um, I mean, it's going to be it's, it's, it's going to be difficult because Miami is not used to the cold. They're a warm weather team. So if you take a warm weather team into a very hostile environment like a cold negative one or whatever cold it is. Um, they're going to get exposed, you know, um, but if, you know, if, if Tua can go out there and just play his game to the best of his abilities and, you know, they'll keep it close, but still lose, Hey, I tip my hat off to him, you know, uh, cause I was just watching how, uh, Colin Coward and he said that in the month of December through January, He's not good. He's ten of ten, but in other but in other months, like August through September, 
he's like 29 and 10. You know, so he drops off bad when December and January, no, not December, around, yeah, December and January comes around. Now, that will that play a factor? I don't know. You know, um, I hope not. <laughs> You know, because I want to see a good game, you know, and everybody wants to see a good game. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I don't expect any blowouts. I hope not. You know, I want games to go down to the wire, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because lately we haven't really been getting a lot of decent games, you know. Um, I think the NFL does a bad job of... of of, of broadcasting their games or televising their games. And I'm not saying that every game should be a must, you know, see TV, whatever, you know, like you got to mix the bad with the good and the good with the bad, you know, like you can't have two trash teams playing Thursday and Monday, you know, um, but, you know, you face who you are, you face, you face who's on your schedule. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, I don't know. I just think these playoff games are going to be a little bit thogic. I think it's going to be more, less, I should say, less entertaining. Because people have to understand, the playoffs, it slows down. You know, there's no big plays. You might get one or two big plays. That's it. Everything else is just wrapped up, you know. It's not like the regular season where you could just, you know, turn it up. Or not even turn it up, but just play to the level of consistency. In the playoffs, it slows down, you know. So the touches you may get in the regular season, you don't get in the playoffs, you know. Like that crucial game against the Saints and the Vikings where, you know, he was supposed to tackle the person, but he missed. And then he wind up walking in for a touchdown. You know, um, so yeah, um, but you know, um, like I said, you know, a lot of people are still gonna watch. You know, I'm pretty sure most Giants fans are gonna watch. You know, for me, I'm only watching because, like I said before. I do parlays, so, you know, that's the only reason why I'm watching, because I don't want to not watch and then not, you know, you know, I don't want to not watch and see my parlay fail, you know, that's the only reason why I'm watching, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even be watching it, I would have probably been watching my Knicks or whatever, um, because I'm trying to get, like, NBA League Pass or whatever, um, but they be charging so much, though, 59 like, I could get the bundle package for, like, 59 for, like, 12 months. Uh, six months is, like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. But, um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get, like, the, NF, uh, the NBA package. Um, but, yeah, I just think, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's awkward. You know, it's awkward. Um... But we'll see. We'll see. You know, whether or not people are still going to watch it. You know, it's football at the end of the day. Whether your team is in it or not. There's, I mean... Because you arguably... You arguably... Did, not arguably, did, but... You... Represent one team. And one team only. And when I got into sports, I told myself that I was never going to watch any team. Never. Unless my team is playing, then I'm not going to watch it. Because why am I going to watch a Cowboys fan? I mean, Cowboys game. Why am I going to watch a, a, a Commanders game? Why am I going to watch this? Why am I going to watch that? You know? Or if I can't see it on TV, then I'll go to my laptop and watch other New York Giant content like Sports Entertainer or, you know, who else, you know? Because um, I think those are the only people. I mean, I'm not saying that those, but... To my knowledge, those are the only two people, Mad Dog and Sports Entertainer, who actually do play play by play, you know. Um, 
But no, I don't know. The the I just think that the NFL this 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 NFL this NFL um season or this NFL playoff seems a little bit trash to me. Um I don't know. It just it just seems like all these games are connected somehow. Like like you would expect at least two or three upsets, right? Which you would get in a playoff game, like what's an upset without an upset, right? Like you should have upsets in playoffs. You know, like I remember when the when the Denver Broncos went to Pittsburgh, who the Steelers would have, was the number one seed that year. I think the Denver Broncos squeezed in a little bit to get into the playoffs with a with a I think with a with a eight and eight or seven and nine record, and then they beat the number one seed in Pittsburgh. Y'all remember that with Tim Tebow throwing that last pass to to uh, uh to Marius Thomas, and then he obviously went the distance and scored, and then Stephen A. Smith came the next following week, sad as heck. Like you got to be kidding me. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have upsets. You know, Cowboys, I mean, the Giants on the road defeating the Cowboys with, you know, obviously, you know, Tony Romo throwing the last prayer into the end zone and then he got picked off or Brett Favre throwing that crucial interception in that fourth quarter, you know, where it was like minus 37 degrees or something like that or 17 degrees. So you're gonna have upsets, you know. You're gonna have upsets in 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 the playoffs. How many? I don't know, you know. But if there's one upset then that I can choose from. It has got to be, um, it has got to be the Bills and who who the heck the Bills play? Cause Bills. Something about the Bills just rubbed me the wrong way. You're like, I know they're playing well and this and that, but until they could get that monkey off their back, because they've been through, they've been through hell. Four Super Bowl appearances and no playoff, and, and, and no Super Bowls to show for it. So the do yes, so so the Steelers do play the Bills. Imagine that, right? Speak. I was just speaking about the Steelers being the number one seed. You know, having every having home court advantage just to lose to Tim Tebow. Now imagine if Mason Rudolph goes to goes to um wherever the uh, Kindle Park, I believe that's where they play, and beat the Bills. Then what? Everybody's gonna be looking at the Bills like, damn, they can never get over the hump. You know, sheesh. That's the only upset I had. Is the uh, is the eagle um, is the I think everybody's gonna be okay, um, except for that one game. I think the Steelers are gonna go in there and 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 somehow beat. Cause it's all about experience, you know. The t- I mean, as bad as the Steelers is this year, they're still one of the historic franchises in the NFL. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers do win. And then obviously next round they get knocked off, obviously. But, you know, a lot of heads are going to be turning in that facility and, 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 you know, with the bills and shit. Like, how come they can never get over their hump? You know, like, what's holding them back? But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.